Annyeong everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the new Brio. And this is the smallest mini hatchback of Honda. And this one used to start at 680,000 pesos, but during the time of shooting, uh, the prices are not yet disclosed. Thank you for watching, and this is Soji Cars. And in our channel, we say, Shija. Before we start, this is the mid variant, the V variant. It doesn't get a smart key, but it gets the remote key. Just in case you're wondering how your spare key looks like, this is what it looks like. There you go. Now let's check the car out. For the new Honda Brio, we have a total of four variants, namely the S variant that comes with the manual transmission and all other three, V, RS and RS black top which come with CVT but I'm glad to say that they all come with the 1.2 liter gasoline engine Euro 4 that does about 88 horsepower and it does about 110 newton meters of torque and they are all front wheel driven. Current Brio is sold at 772,000 pesos for the V variant. I'm not sure how much the price will increase, but we are gonna find out very soon. What makes the Brio so popular in the Philippines? Number one, it is, yes, affordable, but still carries the Honda emblem. And that is one of the greatest factors why you would want to purchase a Honda vehicle. Let's start from the front. The front face has this honeycomb grille with chrome accent. And the headlight has halogen with multi-reflector, but it does come with this nice LED daytime running light. Halogen turn signals, no fog lamp for this V variant, but you'll get them in the RS variant. To demonstrate what's the minimum ground clearance, we have this uh, good old Mountain Dew bottle. Let's put it there under. If we are going to use this, Mountain Dew bottle, that's how much you can fit, okay? So, like that. But we do have mud flaps here on the side that is soft. That will probably reach just here. On the side of the Honda Brio, we can see two tone colored rims. The size is very small, yes, 14 inch. Comes with disc brake in front, drum brake at the back. Uh, Macpherson in front with stabilizer and torsion beam at the back. Side mirror, side repeater is here. Because there are no black claddings, it just makes the car look clean. Also here, when you go up, there is no roof railing. There's no sensor because this has a remote key. And back here, you can see the antenna. The side mirror is power adjusted, but it is not power folding. This area has black here, so maybe we wanted to have the handle here, but it's still here. And when you open the door, it doesn't feel light. So since the car is small, you might expect that the door weight is also light, but no, the sound is Great. Now here at the back, we find the third brake light, the wiper, rear badge, Honda badge, IV Tech badge, two backup sensors. The plate number illumination is just in halogen. What I like here is that we have a switch here just to open your trunk without having to open it from the inside, unlike the espresso. Muffler right here. And the finishing of the muffler is quite nice. It doesn't feel cheap. Like when I'm going to get the V variant, I would uh, install a backup camera because the Kenwood head unit has the ability to add a camera. It's not a big deal. So let's open it. Here, 
we do have good space. Now, when I say good space, you can put your luggage and you can also fold this. So when we fold it, you have to pull it simultaneously and it is just one solid piece. There are no lights, but I think I can also fit in here like that. So ample space. How do I get up? Okay, now let's do the walk around of the interior. That's how you unlock the car. And when you open the door, everything is plastic here and everything is in black so it looks very clean there are a total of four speakers here air pressure the ceiling or ceiling for the hood dual cap the seats are in full fabric even the headrest is just one piece Full manual. There you go. The Brio carpet. The pedals. We have steering wheel adjustment, but this one only tilts. The center island. Or the console. Go inside. There you go. We get our key right here. Put it here in the keyhole. Press the brake. Then you'll see something happening here. Most probably, yeah, we have a Honda logo. Instrument cluster, digital screen, digital screen. Others are all manual. The mirror is manual. The sun visors are manual, but they do have mirror. But it does look budget and feel budget it's like the feeling is like what you would see in l300 but a little better day and night mode the air vents there the location of the air vents are quite important for me because i want them to be very very direct right now only the aircon is on that's how quiet it is The limiter is at 4,000 RPM. And you can control the brightness of the instrument cluster by turning on the light. And you can twist it. That's how you do it. Manual lighting, manual windshield wiper. Thank goodness we have steering wheel control and this one still retained like a cheese grater <laughs> and the horn sound <laughs> that's the horn sound full blanks a little compartment for your card and there's a compartment also here for my phone i can put it there there you go two cup holders that can fit a pepsi bottle there and here see that compartment here and a 12 volt just drops really quickly fair amount of space but guess what we have no us charge port so they managed to put a usb charge port here when you open the glove box at first i thought it's the connection for the ipod but it's not digital screen but something unique about this air condition system you don't have the front vent control so you can only do front and down there's no other way but we do have max cool and this button is for the cool ventilation and this one is a Kenwood Kenwood head unit that actually has this one. If you just buy yourself or your camera, you can easily connect one for your reverse camera. Because as of now, we only have the backup sensor. But Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, USB mirroring, 
so it does have a lot of things but it is the good old simple head unit that Honda likes to use so that's what you have airbag CVT that has S and the L like when you drive in S it will feel like you are driving on a power mode or sport mode side brake cup holder for the second row people now everything is in black that just makes everything very neat and tidy now let me bring you to the second row now let's go to the second row with my normal driving position speaker button for the window separate headrests for all three passengers here as you can see the center tunnel is very small there's a rear pouch here and our amenity close the door you know, it's like there's a person in front of me this is how it looks like here and the center tunnel is really small so as a 510 I have like a half feast <laughs> like that like that is easy but like that is not easy but it's good that we have soft materials here so even though you go so far it will still just take hold of you but not give you pain on the knees as I've shown you earlier you can use this now let's check the trunk space there you go that's actually good trunk space spare wheel tools and jack they are all here this one if you're trying to do it with one hand it's hard to do you have more space but what's important is they just go there to the side we should have maybe a string here because i have to reach for it so look what happens when i close it they just slip right in and it doesn't get stuck there and that's very important for me this button is very good and you can easily close it that way four cylinder 1.2 liter guys it's not a three cylinder fuel economy is very good and also the power very reliable car we are now inside the driver's side and the v-spec is somewhat very basic it has the things that you need and what we know what a car usually have such as the airbags the headlight stock the windshield stock the power buttons the head unit the air condition the gear shifter cup holders just tilting steering wheel horn the horn is so loud the horn is really loud even from the inside so i think that will stop me from pressing it that many times lots of blanks here some pull that you can put your bill or something or id brio is uh, somewhat a very basic car that has all the necessities that you would know and normally find in any cars if you are in the market for a basic car that has the honda badge that can sit five people and you also look stylish this should be your choice all right now we're gonna test how this 1.2 liter four cylinder 88 horsepower 110 newtons will perform in real life situation let's just start with the d okay small obstacle course that i've never tried before let's do that so turn radius let's try this on, easy it's like a walk in the park see that's easy all right then we will go up the hill see it's gonna be a really easy car to drive in the urban jungle this turn up roundabout See this roundabout is no problem for the Brio. 
now we're gonna go up the hill let's see go up the hill here there can the brio climb Baguio this is a really steep hill okay let's put it in L and then we'll go up the front approach is good see I'm not even pressing the gas hard very slow like if I pressed it harder I'm sure I would have gotten to the top really quick see brake is also easy easy to brake you don't have to get some fancy adjusting that's easy so what we just proved is we can go up Baguio okay but if you have more weight of course it will be more challenging right now I'm just alone in the vehicle so it will be a lot easier we'll put in S and we'll try to floor it let me just uh, tell you each time we reach 20 40 60 80 okay okay ready set go full throttle 20 40 60 80 there <laughs> I don't know what you guys were expecting but for a 1.2 liter like if it came in a three cylinder then you would have like more restriction and you'll have more uh, reservation <laughs> to do that but if you're in a four cylinder it just changes everything so that was a good run don't expect something too fast or quick as you know the city is 1.5 liter while this one is 1. Point, wait, while this one is a uh, 1.2 oh it even has echo mode no, I mean it doesn't have echo mode but it shows that if you are driving in echo friendly manner before we used to have the green leaf now we don't have it but we have a echo illumination s okay three two one go 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 so it does take a bit of time to reach 100 wow it's really easy to go places with this <laughs> from this what do I know number one if we have full aircon and you turn on the light it will make the aircon's fan a bit weaker listen it became very quiet it became louder it became quiet <laughs> so that's one thing I wish uh, we had the backup camera since we can still install one it does what cars in this price point does well and the seat is very comfortable I'm 5'10 and I do have good headrest I do have good headroom but if I'm driving I think the person behind me will have just a little space like not too much space but just sakto and uh, so what does all this mean uh, we'll find out more when you have a longer land out and that's what I think of the new Honda Brio if you like the video please drop a like and if you want to watch more of this please do subscribe I'll see you in the next video Mayor Dim Country